All right, following on from the other disastrous video, we are now out on the Vowanda, um, where I'm gonna pull this thing apart. Now, I haven't actually worked on a starter motor for decades. Uh, so I'm gonna be making loads of mistakes, but then that's uh, keeping it uh, live and direct, isn't it? Right, now, one thing we need to notice on this starter, see all these marks here, look, see them? That's clock marks. Uh, what we mean by that is the starter is assembled in a certain uh, manner in order to uh, make it fit all sorts of different bikes. So what we're gonna do, we're just gonna mark the clock marks, make sure we put it back the same way. Now, there's one there, look. And it corresponds with that one. So we'll mark that one as well and correspond it with that one. Then we'll be very careful not to wipe all them off. Well, I'm fart assing around with it. Um, and just because I can, I'm going to put one there and one there. And I'm going to put one there that goes with that one. And then, just to be triply safe, because I'm an old person and liable to forget, I'll do some in red as well. Look. Now, hopefully. I can avoid cocking that up. Next thing up. If anybody says, oh, why don't you fix the starter out in the field? I don't carry a seven mil socket. Why would I? Oh God, that's hurting my ribs. Oh, Jesus. If anybody's just joined me on this video, uh, the reason I'm doing this is because the bike broke down on a mountain and uh, you on a, a long rescue mission yesterday. I'll crack some ribs. But, uh, there's no prizes for lying in bed crying, so uh, on we go. Right, one. Oh, loads of grit and gravel and God knows what in there. I just give this a quick wash off in the sink. <laughs> okay. So, sometimes the brush pack can be held in through the back there um, by that locating nut. So I'm just gonna run that nut off just in case the brush pack stays on the motor or whatever and needs to come through the cover. Just in case. That over there. Sorry, we all went off screen then, didn't we? Right. There we go. Ha ha! He says. Possibly. Oh. Well, yeah. Are you uh, are you still in the shot? So. Carbon brushes. Carbon brushes. Let me see if you can get a good shot. Carbon brushes. Okay, you can see that one is that long. That one is that long. That one, he not long at all. And that one, in very short. So I think I'm pretty confident now I have done found what is messed up. Oh yeah, and I was right, look, see, uh, there you go. Well, I mean, technically speaking, it wasn't the end of the world, but in order to get that pair of brushes out, you have to remove the, the nut on the casing. There's an isolator washer there, look, to stop it shorting out. Don't go losing that. There was a flat washer on the top of that. Are you still in the shot? I'm not looking at the camera. And then there was a nut. So uh, that's one pair of brushes which we need to replace. And of course the other pair, which are held on with a, a jizz screw, we'll be replacing as well. So, service time. Um, ooh. Ooh. All right, I'm feeling for rock in the bearing, and uh, it's going to be awkward to pick it up on the camera, but in layman's terms, that feels fucked. Very screwed up. In fact, there's so much play in that. If you get too much play and the armature touches against the motor body, 
you get a, a total short and nothing will start. Um, but yeah, that feels definitely naff. Let's see what I can get through there. There we go. So we got. See, there's your there's your motor, your brushes, and your magnets. They cannot touch each other as they are now because they'll short straight out. And that's what the uh, idea of these bearings is for. It's to stop them from shorting out, but... Uh, oh! Oh, mercy, mercy me. If you could feel that, you would cringe. So, uh, yeah. This needs to start a rebuild. That's a sealed bearing there. It's completely stuffed. There's a roller bearing in the end there, so we might as well get the whole bloody lot. So there, people. That's my starter motor issue sorted out in six minutes, too. That wasn't too bad, was it? Hopefully, most of you were still awake. Right. I'm going to get on to uh, Sang Chai's in Chiang Mai and start ordering up a load of parts. Later. <laughs>